everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. Today's video is not the video that I had originally intended to create and post for you guys, but inspiration strikes and when it strikes sometimes you just have to go with it. So totally different video. <laughs> but don't worry, the other video that I was planning will be coming up really soon. So this just started off as a quick sketch and actually I didn't record the quick sketch because I didn't think it was going to be anything. I just thought I'm getting some ideas down on paper and we'll see what happens but probably nothing. And got done with the sketch and went, oh, I really like the, this piece. I like the feel of this piece. I like the composition of this piece. I have to run with this piece and I want to take you guys on the journey with me. So I then began recording and oh my goodness, this, this took me so long to do. <laughs> I meant to do just a quick sketch and then go to bed and now it's almost one o'clock in the morning and I'm just finishing now. So yeah. Obvious inspirations for this piece were the character Sailor Moon and also the Blue Fairy from Pinocchio. Those were two really big inspirations in this piece. I wanted to create a fairy that lived on a very tiny moon and I mean that's that's all she could do was just stay on this moon. Her one job is to create the stardust that will become stars that children wish upon. And that's what she does. And I was trying to decide what kind of style I wanted to go with. Initially, I wasn't even certain I wanted to do this on the computer, even though I was just sketching up the design on the computer. I thought maybe I'll switch it over and do a traditional piece, which I like the theme of this piece so much. I might try to take another shot at this in traditional medium, but I really like how this one turned out digitally. And I really decided to go with a kind of a really different style. I had seen it a couple of times before and it's this really fun silhouetted design so the actual physical character like the skin of a character is silhouetted but everything else clothes hair all that are in color um, some of these designs will have the clothes and hair will be rendered out with shadows and highlights and look you know kind of realistic um, another ones kind of have this paper cutout feel to them and so I was originally going to go with the paper cutout feel. Then I began playing around with the different kinds of textures that you can have when, you know, creating digitally and just had a lot of fun. So I think it looks a little bit like paper. Had I put a little bit more cast shadow from everything, I think it would have uh, looked a lot more like it was created um, using paper. Uh, but I wanted to kind of just balance on that line of is it supposed to look like paper or is it something else? So I would add little tiny textures into things. Most notably would be the moon itself. I had kept it really flat and it just kind of, it didn't pop. And I wanted the moon to almost be a little bit like, like it was cut out of the actual moon. I don't know if that makes sense. Makes sense to me. But again, it's one in the morning. So very little makes sense to me right now. <laughs> I also wanted to have kind of like she has some decorations of stars because when she lets go of the stardust she doesn't get to keep any of it it just kind of flies off so I thought you know maybe she kind of decorated her moon with little cut out paper stars <laughs> which I think are cute and I love the ones at the bottom later on when I attach their strings they kind of remind me of in Charlotte's Web when Charlotte's Web's little children are like dangling from their little their little cobweb things and blowing in the wind. Her little stars are kind of blowing in the wind. I kind of give and it gives it this kind of fun fantasy kind of feel to it. I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me what software and hardware I use to create this piece. So let me go ahead and share that with you right now. So the digital software that I'm using is Clip Studio Paint, which I absolutely adore this software. I do use Photoshop sometimes, but if I'm rendering like a picture or something, I will do it in Photoshop. But if I'm drawing something, I will use Clip Studio Paint. And I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can go and check them out. I've been using this software for a good year, maybe a little bit more, and I cannot believe how much I love this software. The hardware that I'm using is a Wycom Cintiq tablet. It's a 13 inch HD tablet and I'll leave a link to where I kind of talk about that in the description box below. I did a whole 
series um, called Digital 101 where I walked you through all the different software and hardware and techniques and stuff. So if you'd like more information on how to draw digitally or how I draw digitally, um, check out that playlist. It will have all that information there for you. So back to this piece. So as I'm finishing up this piece, I want to create kind of the stardust coming out of her hand as she sprinkles it out. And it kind of occurred to me, where does she get the stardust? And I thought maybe creating like a bowl or something that she has sitting in her lap or maybe a little pouch or something. And I was like, yeah. And then I got it. I got the idea and I began to add stardust in her hair. And so that's that's what it is. It's, she has stardust in her hair and she gathers it. It's kind of like fairy dandruff. I think that would hurt the integrity of this piece, calling it fairy dandruff. So just you guys who watch to the end of this video will get that joke. Okay. <laughs> It'll probably also be up on my Redbubble shop, so I'll have links to the Redbubble. If you want to just jump over there and buy something from Redbubble, you can definitely do that too. So if you guys have ever been caught up with an inspiration to create a piece, I would love to see a picture of it. So make sure to tag me in your photos, either in my Instagram or on Facebook or Twitter. would love to see them. And the links to all my social media are in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye!